Hi everybody, Roger Curry here of uh, RBJ Financial Group. Wanted to go over the uh, S&P 500. This is the SPY that we're looking at, which is the ETF, the Exchange Traded Fund, which is a proxy for the uh, S&P 500 index. We're looking at a, at a red zone here, which was uh, part of our macro forecast back at the beginning of, of the year, uh, January 2015, in which our forecast was highlighting this area or zone uh, in which the market's likely to go and begin to wear out and exhaust any of the, uh, the bullish interest that people would have in continually moving the price up. Just like a weather forecaster, uh, we're seeing clouds begin to build and uh, a potential storm beginning to brew offshore. So the best thing to do is kind of get out of the way and not be stuck in the storm, right? Now there's nothing that's 100% in life, right? But we don't need it to be. We know if there's an 80% chance of showers the next day, probably should be prepared and dress accordingly, right? Uh, here we have about an 80% chance that the market's going to be uh, dropping from here uh, with some sort of a correction that can be anywhere from 15 to 30%, even more, if the thing continues to, to build uh, more and more bearish sentiment. Uh, that could really push things uh, deeper and further away from these highs here very quickly. Here's a perspective I want you to keep in mind. Now, it's possible, notice this zone, the red zone is, is quite a bit higher from where price uh, is at now and, and, and actually higher from where the highs of price is. It goes, it reaches up into about the uh, the 220 or on the on the index would be uh, over, uh, what is it, 2,200. What you have to keep in mind is if the market does move up, all right, and, you're, and you kind of don't want to miss that move, well, think of what it is that you're going to potentially be doing. You're, you're looking at holding on to potentially gain a 5 or 10% upside, but you're risking the potential of losing 15, 20, 30% or more to the downside. Uh, just on a gamble, that, that's a bad bet, right? And think of the pain that you'd have to endure and, and what you'd have to hold out for and how long will that take to recover. That's the kind of stress you really, it'll keep you up at night and you don't want. So the suggestion here is uh, we're in a zone in which this is a good time to begin uh, if, you, if you are not used to being proactive and working with your financial advisor and, and with your investment manager, probably a good time to begin that relationship going and to, to look into how you can direct your own investments, and especially your retirement accounts, so that you can shield yourself from something that's, uh, uh, that predictive fair technology is producing. Our in-house proprietary operations focus on the odds of whether something is likely to happen. And rather than focusing on moves in the market, we focus on what is likely to occur, what are the odds of that happening, and how can we best avoid unnecessary uh, downturns in order to compound more rapidly our ability to grow our money and have a uh, nicer outcome for our retirement.